take a chance Live your life for just one night No looking back Cause the night will make you Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are being productive. In case you see my face for the very first time, I am Susanita Afi. Today's video, I will be showing you guys how I was able to achieve this look right here. And in case, after watching this video, you think you like my content, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, leave a comment. You guys, I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about this look and what you think about my hairdo <laughs> your girl is rocking some calories out there what do you think about this hairdo do you think it suits me i love it okay without talking too much oh wait make sure you follow me on instagram follow me on instagram that is where it's bubbling you know no dolly 2020 no dolly it's been a lot of drama already it's time to rock and roll so if you want to rock and roll with me follow me on instagram that being said let's get into the tutorial so before I apply any makeup product on my skin, I am going to cleanse my face to remove any excess oil or dirt that is on my skin. I'm using the Garnier Skin Active Facial Cleanser to cleanse my face. I'm just taking my time to do that. Next, I'm going to damp my face with rose water just to make it ready for the serum. You guys, every product I use in this video, I'm going to list them in the description. So if you are interested, you can check it out. I'm taking my time to press the serum into my skin to make sure my skin absorbs it very well. So to save time, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. <laughs> yes. All right, let's continue. Now to set my eyelid, I am just going to use a normal powder to set it just to make sure it's dry so when I apply eyeshadow it's not greasy. Now this is the first color that I'll be using from my eyeshadow palette. I'm using two colors today so this is the first one. As you can see I'm just taking my time to press it. I'm not blending but I'm pressing it now i am blending you want to make sure you press it before you start blending just to make sure it doesn't kick because as you can see i have wooded eyes so that's the technique that i've been using so i don't get cakey eyeshadow to cut my crease i'm using the nys pigment primer as you can see i'm taking enough of the primer before i put it on my eyeshadow So it helps me cut my crease nicely and neatly. Some people kind of cut their crease with a pigment primer before applying eyeshadow, but I do it both ways, just depending on, on, depending on how I feel. I'm taking my time to cut my crease. You don't want to rush this part of makeup. You just want to take your time. I am not a pro when it comes to cutting off crease. So as you can see, I'm taking my time and I'm being really careful. To line my eyes, I'm using a Catrice eyeliner. You guys, I am taking my time to line my eyes because you need to take your time. Cutting of crease and lining of eyes are both something that I really take my time to do. I don't rush because I don't want to come out looking like something else. For mascara, I'm using the Romeo Scandalous Retro Glam Mascara. 
and I'm using the MS Beauty lashes. I really love these lashes. So you guys take note of how I am going to be applying my eyelashes. This is a method I learned from a fellow YouTuber and it has been really really helpful and very fast. Normally I would apply the glue on my lashes and allow it, allow it to dry before applying it on my eye. But now I am rather applying the glue on my lashes, on my normal eyelashes before just applying the fake or the false lashes on my lash. You see how fast it is? So fast and so easy. So right now to hide the excess glue, I'm just using my eyeliner to go over again. Voila! Both eyes are done. Now let's go to the face. I'm going to apply a primer to prime my face. I'm applying the primer just around the areas that I know I sweat a lot, just around my T-zone area. Because those are the parts that I think most people do sweat a lot. Now I'm going to use my Elegant Pro Concealer to hide some of the dark spots. As you can see, I have quite a lot of dark spots on my face and around my neck. I'm using my Black Opal Stick Foundation. To also hide the dark spot you guys have been doing this for a long time and it has really helped like using elegant pro concealer and then creamy foundation now i am using my normal foundation to go all over i did all the process before now just because i have dark spot it's time for blending this is the part i do not like when it comes to makeup you guys i don't like blending <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, do you like blending? I just don't. So I'm taking my time to blend properly. I am not just, uh, how should I, how, should, how? <laughs> you guys just, just ignore me. I don't know what I'm saying. So now to highlight my face, I am using my MAC concealer. I'm setting my face again with more rose water just to make sure it's just a bit damp for the setting powder. So the setting powder I'm using is the Benai setting powder, Benai banana setting powder. This first setting powder I just applied, guys, I'm going to blend it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm blending it out and I'm going to top it again. The reason I'm doing this is because I do not want my under eye to look cakey. Because I've noticed whenever I don't do this process, sometimes it looks cakey, like it's cracking kind of. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Now I'm going to go all over my face with a pressed powder, like a normal powder, just to fade the harsh lines created by the contour powder. Just look at what I'm doing properly and you're going to understand what I'm trying to do. I'm just fading the harsh lines created by the contour powder. 
now i'm applying more powder around my neck because i want to make sure that my neck and my face matches they have the same color this is one of my favorite parts when it comes to makeup the sweeping of the ss setting powder i love it now i'm going to highlight my cheekbones i'm not applying too much that's why I use a tiny brush just to make sure it's not so much Now I'm going to set my face again for the third time with rose water, you guys. It's really nice when you do your makeup this way. Believe me, it lasts longer and it stays intact. I'm just lining my lip now and the look is coming slowly to an end and I'm so excited. I'm taking my time to line my lip because I want it to be well defined that's why I'm gradually doing that I don't like to rush when it comes to my lip so I'm going to be using the accents mix and mash palettes for my lip you guys I really like this palette as well the colors are really amazing to top it, I'm using the Maybelline Vivid Hot Liquor Lipstick. You guys, this lipstick is a matte lipstick, but the color is amazing. I'm going to be applying the Essence Shine Shine Lip Gloss to give it that soft look. Of late, I'm really loving lip gloss, like... It's an everyday thing for me now. So I just realized I didn't do anything to my under eyes. I'm just applying eyeshadow, a brown eyeshadow right there. That's what I'm doing now. Just to make sure it stands out, kind of. Now I'm going to apply eyeliner. I'm just going to line my waterline. You guys, lining the waterline makes a lot of difference. Look at it. Look at it. You see, with and without eyeliner, you can see the difference. I'm just going to finish the look with a mascara just to make sure my lashes are popping and that's it you guys nothing more to do i am loving this look you guys i really love this look this is the final result you guys i really really love this look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah i love you guys if you made it this far you are a darling make sure you love yourself because if you don't love you who will subscribe if you haven't already see you guys in my next video bye guys